Hello, Gun Nation. Big Johnson coming at you. All right, let's get into it. I've uh, posted a picture up, you know, where I was painting this rifle on the community tab. And uh, some people are like, you paint rifle? Oh my gosh, you know. Uh, and then we had a discussion on it about my on my live chat. Uh, if you'd love to listen to a Gun Nation live chat, they're every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. Tune into my channel, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. You'll get a notification when I go live. Uh, and then, you know, I talked about it and people were like, man, I'd never paint my rifle, you know, only, or if I paint them, I only paint cheap, cheap rifles. I'd never consider a decent rifle. Well, this is a decent rifle. Uh, it's actually a really good rifle. It's not one of my best, but it is a good rifle. But I'm going to kind of show you what I did on this on purpose. Then also, Lock Grips makes rifle stands. Uh, basically, it's a stand you can use for a pistol. You can buy these different adapters from them. Uh, you can have a pistol or put your rifle, and this rifle's just sitting here by itself. I'm not even touching it. So it allows you to mount optics on here, put your flashlights on here, whatever you want to do, uh, and it holds it for you. So if you're interested in that, I will leave a link below, and you can use my code. It's BJGG10, BJGG10, all caps. That'll save you 10% off anything on their order or anything on their uh, website, anything you order. But let's kind of get into it. Okay, the rifle that you see here, and it's too damn long, but it is a 18 inch rifle. Uh, it's got a precision armament break on it. Uh, you know, some other things, this was a stainless steel barrel, but I painted it and some people were pissed about that. Um, but you know, it is what it is. So some of these parts I had, I just kind of stuck them all together. Uh, and then, you know, the upper. Okay, but I went ahead and painted it and you'll notice there's something else right here and you're like, what the hell's that? Okay, that is the 16-inch uh, upper, upper. It's kind of like an old-school upper, you know, with the A2 post and all that good stuff. Uh, what I'm going to be doing with it is kind of having this one rifle, but with two different uppers. That's why I kind of painted them the same. And, of course, this has a different handguard. It's kind of more old-school. Um, and then in this, of course, is, is aluminum. But uh, And it is Magpul. I just painted everything. So can this flake off? Yes. Does it hurt anything? No, who gives a shit? Um, that's kind of where I am with this. Uh, I kind of built this 18 inch. It's kind of like a coyote gun, um, you know, whatever. Or if I just want to play, you know, long distance guy or whatever, you know, with the 5.56, five, it's my 18 inch. Uh, I did put a little, you can't, I can't see it, but there's a little M lock here at the front that I put on there, pick rail, so I could put a bipod on it. I uh, painted the mag. I had some of these prep paints. Y'all probably seen these, uh, P mags, so I was like, hey, here's a good indication. And what I did is actually have a little fake potted plant thing that I cut the leaves off of. And I did the base coat, all FDE, and that's all the Krylon camouflage. That's what I used. It's all flat. Um, some people said, why don't you put clear over the top to seal it? I don't want it shiny. I wanted it flat. I just have lights on it right now, so it looked, might look shiny, but it's not. I uh, painted the charging handle because I don't care, painted the trigger, your safeties, I've already checked them, they all work properly. Um, all that stuff, you know, it's all good to go. So I shouldn't have any issues with it. Um, you know, we'll shoot it soon and find out. But this was an old A2 16 inch upper that I had and I was like, huh. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'll have an 18 inch gun or I can snap this on there. And on this version, I'm just gonna have a red dot on this one. And I will put a cherry bomb on the front of this so I can run my 16 inch suppressed and the 18 inch, I'm not going to run suppressed. Uh, like I said, I've got the precision armament, uh, break on it. That's a really, really good one. Uh, so I didn't really want to run a suppressor. I can, if I want, I can just put a cherry bomb on there as well and run my Q trash Panda. But I thought, man, I'll just kind of have a designated suppressor red dot upper and then a long range uh, type, 5.56, five, 2.23. But that's kind of why I did it. Now, <laughs> I've always said, you're not crazy if you don't paint your rifles. You're not crazy if you do paint your rifles. Do what you want to do. It does not matter to me or anyone else out there in the world. It's all about what you like and what you want to do. Just don't beat up others for doing what they want to do. Um, you know, I enjoy this rifle. It shoots really good. I've probably put about 250 rounds through it uh, after I built it just to make sure that it would run. It runs fine. Uh, I've got little community videos. Y'all can go in there and check those out. 
Uh, I got it super, super hot. I ran it and smoke was coming off this thing. So matter of fact, I think in that uh, little short, it says smoke in, you can see all the steam coming off this bad boy uh, prior to painting it. So I wanted to make sure it ran first. Everything was good to go. I did run 556 five, through it, 223 two, through it, 77 grain, uh, 55 grain, you know, all that good stuff. A lot of people may ask, where's your optics? Okay, I have an optic for this one. I have a red dot for this one. I'm just not, I wanted to make sure that I'm completely sold on the optic that I was gonna put on this one and the red dot that I'm gonna put on this one. But they will be up, you know, outfitted. I don't really care if I paint the optics, it doesn't really matter to me. However, if I do, you don't have to have them on the rifle to paint them. I know exactly how I painted these kind of with my little pattern. I can go back and do the same thing with the optic and the flashlights and all that good stuff. So anyway, just wanted to share with y'all, do you paint your rifles? Do you not paint your rifles? Do you think people are crazy if they paint their rifles? I did have someone else say, oh, I won't use spray paint. That's from the dollar store. I only Cerakote, have my stuff Cerakoted. I've got Cerakoted rifles. I've done the custom kind of stuff. This is kind of my version of what I did to make it kind of cool. And if it peels off, wears off, that's what it's designed to do. Who cares? Then paint the damn thing again. Doesn't matter. Not going to hurt it. So anyway, that's just my two cents. I'm not mad at you if you don't paint yours. I think it's cool if you do paint yours. Hey, I'm for everybody doing America. Doesn't matter to me. So remember, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation. So we all got to carry on.